Have you ever wondered why the world's oldest Sanatan Dharma, also known as Hindu Dharma or Hindu religion, is a thorn for Abrahamic religions? What is the reason they want to destroy it completely? Why do Congress and its allies like DMK openly threaten to destroy Sanatan Dharma and eliminate Hindus? DMK leader and MK Stalin's son Udayanidhi has said, There are some things which we have to eliminate. Mere opposition is not enough. Mosquitoes, dengue, corona and malaria are things which we cannot oppose. We have to eliminate them. We have to do it. Sanatan Dharma is also like this. Our first task is not to oppose it, but to completely destroy it. Be it DMK or Congress, the hatred of Sanatan Dharma by all such political parties is hidden in their history. The Justice Party was formed in Madras Presidency in the year 1970. It started demanding a separate Dravida Nadu country. The thing to note was that the Justice Party's opposition was not to the British, which enslaved India, but to the Brahmins, all North Indians and the Hindi language. It was a supporter of the British and publicly appealed that the British should remain in India. The church was actually behind the Justice Party. This was an important part of the British policy of divide and rule the Indians. This Justice Party later became Dravida Munetra Karagam, DMK. Even today, members of this party keep giving separatist statements from time to time. Tamil Nadu BJP President K. Annamalai had publicly discussed this dark history of DMK some time ago. Tamil Nadu is a good thing. East India Company is a good thing. உங்களுடைய மூதாதையர்கள் ஈஸ்ட் இந்தியா கம்பெனியோட கொஞ்சம் குலாவளியா உங்களுடைய உங்களுடைய மூதாதையர் பாட்டி என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய ஜஸ்டிஸ் பார்ட்டிக்கும் ஈஸ்ட் இந்தியா கம்பெனிக்கும் எந்த விதமான தொடர்பும் இல்லையா ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி நாற்பத்தி ஒன்னுல நீங்க சுதந்திரத்தை பத்தி என்ன பேசுனீங்க சுதந்திரம் வேண்டாம் என்று நீங்கள் பேசவில்லையா அந்த கட்சியினுடைய வழித்தோன்றலாக வந்து அமர்ந்து விட்டு என்னை பார்த்து அந்த வார்த்தையை பயன்படுத்துவதற்கு உங்களுக்கு என்ன அருகதை இருக்கு அது திமுக யாருக்கும் அந்த அருகதை கிடையாது உங்களுக்கும் ஈஸ்ட் இந்தியா கம்பெனிக்கும் இருக்கக்கூடிய தொடர்பு தமிழக மக்களுக்கே தெரியும் ஜஸ்டிஸ் கட்சி ஆரம்பிச்சதுல இருந்து திராவிடர் கழகத்தில இருந்து ஈஸ்ட் இந்தியா கம்பெனி கூட எந்த விதமான ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் நீங்க வச்சுக்கலையா நவ் லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபௌட் தி ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் बिटवीन DMK and Congress which claims to have liberated India when Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated in 1991 the role of DMK clearly came to light in the investigation in 1998 Congress withdrew support to the Inder Kumar Gujral government because DMK was also included in that alliance. Till 2004, Congress party was a staunch opponent of DMK. But as Sonia Gandhi's hold on the Congress party strengthened, she changed this policy and entered into an alliance with the DMK. That is, Sonia Gandhi joined hands with the accused in the murder of her own husband, Rajiv Gandhi. It seems that the real objective behind this alliance of Congress and DMK was to destroy Sanatan Dharma. For this objective, Congress even forgave the murderers of Rajiv Gandhi. From then on till today, the speeches of the leaders of both the parties are the same. In January 2022, Tamil Nadu Congress President K. S. Alagiri had said, The destruction of Sanatan Dharma is a part of the political program of the Congress Party's alliance with DMK in Tamil Nadu. In the year 2018, Congress leader Mallikarjun Kharge had told the PAC stage that if Narendra Modi comes to power again, Sanatan Dharma will become stronger in the country. Aur aise Modi ji ko agar aur shakti milegi desh mein तो समझो फिर इस देश में सनातन धर्म और आरएसएस की हुकूमत आएगी उदय निधि स्टालिन इज नॉट अलोन इन टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्ट्रॉइंग सनातन धर्म दिस इज द वन पॉइंट प्रोग्राम ऑफ द अलायंस ऑफ कांग्रेस एंड डीएमके दे वांट टू डिस्ट्रॉय द कल्चर एंड रिलीजन नॉट ओनली ऑफ तमिलनाडु बट ऑफ एंटायर इंडिया 
there is no doubt that the church is behind this entire conspiracy. Just as the church created Christian countries like East Timor and South Sudan, in the same way they want to separate Tamil Nadu from India and make it a separate country. This has been on their agenda for a long time. It is necessary to understand this alliance so that we can save ourselves and our future generations from these aggressors.